channel, welcome. I make fishing videos and I try to post content at least once a week. So if fishing is your jam, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So I'm back out on the beautiful San Francisco Bay today. I'm out on the Pacific Dream. You've seen me on this boat before in past videos, but I haven't actually been out here since pre-COVID, so it's been a couple of years. And I brought along with me this time three first-timers to bay fishing, halibut fishing, all of that. So I've got Mike, who you probably recognize from my um, bass fishing videos with Mike and Theo on Delta and Clear Lake. And then I've also got my buddy Kyle and his son Carl. They're also first timers. So this is the perfect boat to kind of learn how to halibut fish. We're out here with Captain Chris and his dog Zoe. It's a beautiful day out here on the bay and we're hoping to catch a bunch. So let's go fishing. Okay guys, just bait them up. Just barely, barely let it tap the bottom, okay? You barely let it tap the bottom of your bait, you're gonna stay alive a lot better, a lot longer. You wanna make sure that you check your baits every five minutes or so. Yep. A lot of times baits get scratched by halibut. Always let the rod tip load up in the rod holder. Um, yeah, chin to the top. The kids of death have taken the rod out of the holder. Don't let that fish. So just on the mouth like that? Yeah, just under the chin through the top. Under here. And out through the top. There you go. And you get that thing in the water right away, so. So just let that drop and then you want to pull this back and you just want to let it go until it stops. So the weight's going to pull that line out. So you just want to hit the bottom right there and then you lock it. You put it on full and then you just wait for that fish to hit. And to release it, do you just push that down yeah but you want to put make sure you thumb it so you don't backlash yeah, yeah. until you're on the bottom and every now and then just we're already on the bottom yeah it's pretty shallow here so you're just waiting for the rod to do this when that happens you just start you just start steady reeling and you don't take it out of the holder until someone tells you You have one? You have one on? Yeah. Fish on! Fish on! Okay, here, take your rod out of the rod holder, easy. All right. Watch that line, Chris. Got a line in it. Easy, easy, good, good. Good job. Oh, Mike! Oh, he's in the bathroom! He's in the bathroom! Right. He's in a... Nope, he's in the bathroom. Oh, 
Mikey's in the bathroom. Mikey! Mike, go get him in. He can, can go tell him. <laughs> oh no. Mike. Is he out? Be alright, we're getting another rod. That sucks. Now they're all tangled with me. Here, let me see. Let me see this. I've got it. Shorty. <laughs> I know. Mike, you missed it. Undersized though. I'm yelling, I'm trying to like stall the fish like an idiot. I'm like, hang on! He's in the pisser. Hold that one out. Oh yeah, exactly. It's undersized though? Yeah. Yeah. You see what I meant? The two eyes that are on the top? Oh yeah. It's weird, huh? What length do they have to be? 22 inches. 22 inches, okay. This one's a little short. We'll check them just to see. Okay. 21 on the dot. Oh no. All right. Well, now I don't feel as bad, Mike. <laughs> oh, crank up. Guys, put your weights on the inside of the railing. Inside of the railing. Guys, uh, just as a uh, recommendation, yeah, do yourselves a favor. Put those hooks. Don't cramp the hooks in the in the high blocks for the program. But just put them in place for the foreground so that that way all you have to do is make your own drop of stuff on the side. for a second when it was pulling. <laughs> I was like, you're gonna reel or what? <laughs> Yes! Yeah. Can we get a picture with 
Yep. So a little tough day on the water. We got six fish, so we got enough for a few meals here. They had a blast. Not too bad for first timers, so I think they'll definitely be back out. If you're enjoying my videos, make sure you're hitting that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below and let me know where you want to see me fish next. And who knows, maybe the next time I'm out here on the San Francisco Bay, I'll see you outside. <laughs>